Bitcoin has retraced to about $28,000, a value which about a week ago people were celebrating as being bullish. Right now, there's a lot of fear and uncertainty in the markets with the fear and greed index showing a neutral value. To be honest, I'm not sure whether or not we have seen the last of it, but I will say this. There's always good opportunities out there to accumulate great projects. That's why in today's video, I'm going to share with you 10 low carb gems that have a lot of long term potential. These are projects that range from less than $10 million in market cap to even less than a million dollars in market cap and I believe they have the insane potential to give you hundreds of exits, especially in the coming bull run. So if you don't want to miss any of that, be sure to stick around for this whole video. The first project on my list is Genomes DAO. This is a project that I'm super bullish on and I believe it's undervalued especially for what they are doing. Genomes DAO is tackling a billion dollar industry and is also solving a real world problem. This is in a rising niche that I believe would do very well, decentralized science. Genomes DAO is putting the data back into the hands of people. You know, genome sequencing gives a lot of valuable and private data back in complete control into your hands and you know, there's a lot of malpractice especially when it comes to this type of data in the medical field. We've got, you know, FBI investigating some genome sequencing companies um, selling the data for hundreds of millions of dollars and this is without the permission or consent of people. Now what Genomes DAO is doing, it allows you to monetize your own data while forwarding scientific research. I believe decentralized science has a lot of real world use cases making it accessible to people as well as giving them options to monetize it. I really think Genomes DAO is a niche project and I believe it has a lot of long term potential. Sitting at this market cap of 2 million dollars, I believe this project has much more room for for growth. Highly undervalued, 27% in circulation with a lot of real world use cases. And you know, keeping in line with the decentralized science narrative, the next project that I believe we can take good advantage of in this deep, as well as you know, paying close attention to it for more accumulation opportunities is the Cleantex CTI. Cleantech CTI's approach to decentralized science is by utilizing artificial intelligence to help researchers and doctors quickly analyze a large volume of data to save time and money, something that is very important in medical field. So the Cleantech CTI is a great project and you know it's also low cap, sitting at $2.9 million in market cap, very good amount in circulation, close to 50%. I think Cleantech CTI has um, you know a lot of potential and looking at Cleantech CTI and Genomes DAO, you know, you might wonder what's with the regulatory compliance and that's one of the areas where I put Genomes DAO a little bit ahead of Cleantech CTI because Genomes DAO asks for your explicit consent to um, utilize your information while Cleantech CTI gathers a lot of medical data and feeds it to an artificial intelligence or machine learning platform to help them narrow down um, where to carry out their research. So if you look at these two projects side by side, they are both great, they are both in the decentralized science narrative. However, one might have more regulatory issues than the other. I do think both of them are great. I'm just being completely honest with you regarding both of them's long-term potential. Um, genomes that would have less regulatory issues than the clean tech CTI, but I still think they have great potential nonetheless, especially in the field they are working in and um, in terms of their long-term potential. And the next project is another one that I absolutely love. I've been calling for a very long time on my channel, and that's the Mask project. You know, Mask as a market cap of less than 10 million, 6 million dollars in market cap, and 68 percent in circulation. The thing I love most about Mask is the constant updates and developments on their websites. Mask combines the benefits of VPN and Tor technology to create a superior next gen privacy software where users are rewarded for supporting an uncensored global web. So, the Mask network is simply a browsing solution that allows people to browse in a borderless, decentralized, secure manner and you get rewarded with the utility token by providing bandwidth to make this a possibility. So I really like Mask, you know, no VC funding, no private or seed rounds, just strong utility and is able to generate demand just with its real world use cases. These are the kind of projects you should be paying attention to, not meme coins because it's a project that can draw investments in from retail and even institutions. I really like the fact that you know, it also uses a mesh VPN, people in France, people in South Korea, Africa, Europe, the Americas, they are all providing bandwidth to make this thing decentralized and, you know, work out. So I think Mask has a lot of long-term potential. I think, you know, the fact that they've got different dApps, they've got decentralized storage within the browser, they've got 
decentralized applications that you can use like sushi swap uniswap and many more i think it's it can be a go-to browser for a lot of people all, all around the world so mask is definitely one you should pay attention to and the next project is another undervalued low cap gem in my opinion and that's onino i've been talking about onino since it was on 0.03 dollars and that's on my youtube not even in my patreon so it should be up over 2x from that point onino is a great project is a layer one blockchain with a strong focus on interoperability and helping with digital identity and i think that's a very important use case with crypto and um, the blockchain especially with cbdc's and regulatory compliance around the corner i think you know the need for having a decentralized form of identity where you control what part of the information you give out and knowing who you give it out to and how they use it as well as you know the complete control of restricting it is extremely important and this is one of the major issues that Onino is solving as well as many other um, uses of the blockchain. So I like the fact that they are um, focusing on interoperability, they are decentralized and so many other aspects to it. Onino has a lot of long-term potential in my opinion also on quite a deep right now and less than two million dollars in market cap 1.9 i believe you know once the mainnet launches once people see the full potential this is a project that can absolutely explode i believe you know a layer one blockchain is a big deal especially the one that is addressing many issues that are rising up now so yeah onino should be on your radar if it wasn't before onino provides a unique decentralized layer zero protocol layer zero being a big deal with interoperability that's privacy by default and proof of identity where needed ensuring users are safe from having their private details exposed while enabling businesses and regulators to check for compliance this is a project that i am super super bullish on in the next bull run when people are looking for the next layer one when people are looking for a new blockchain a project like onino will be extremely useful and it's a layer zero project meaning it provides a network that allows different layer one blockchains interact with one another so onino is one that you know i'm going to send out a buy a lot on and um, i'm going to hold long term i think this is a great project what accumulating and um, what holding for the next bull run so the next project that i'm also super bullish on because it has a lot of interoperability and is undervalued giving a lot of utility to nfts in this space showing us that nfts nft projects can be more than just monkey pigs it's xp network xp network is a great one you know it allows you to safely move safely and securely move your assets from one blockchain to another so if you are an nft project within the crypto space you'll find xp network relevant xp network has a lot of security it's being used by several blockchains it's the first um, network that is being used by many blockchains for their first nft cross bridging you know um v chain polygon tron cardano ethereum all of these blockchains find the sp network very relevant and i think that's what makes this project great it focuses on interoperability and it's a blockchain too I, i'm really bullish on sp network i think it's going to do very well especially in the next bull run not just even in the next bull run you know if a crypto project within the space wants to succeed and they want to benefit different blockchain they, they decide oh ethereum is too expensive we want to move over to polygon they can do it using the xp network and i think that's use case that blockchain tool aspect of it that makes it easy for crypto projects makes me super bullish on the xp network especially in the long term so yeah i've talked about xp network a lot on this channel pay close attention to it on major dips whether you or not you have you don't have exposure this can be worth accumulating or even if you want to increase your exposure to this project i believe this is a project that you should hold for the long term so 2.8 million dollars in market cap over 57 percent in circulation good tokenomics good projects great use case i'm super bullish on sp network and another project that is the blockchain tool that i believe has a lot of long-term potential also on quite a deep is the broccoli network you know one of the things that is important in cryptocurrencies is adoption and adoption can't happen without you know people understanding that crypto is not harmful to the environment there's a lot of issues with the adoption of cryptocurrencies when people feel like it's not good for the environment or is harmful to the environment well broccoli network solves that it allows every other crypto projects within the space utilize its api or even retail users utilize its decks 
while contributing positively to climate actions, either by recycling, um, research, or planting trees. I think that's a very good use case for Broccoli Network. I think it's quite decent that it can show the entire world that crypto is not harmful. They are directly contributing to positive climate changes. And I think, you know, even if that's not a thing that you are into, at the very least, it would aid adoption of cryptocurrencies, it would aid adoption of other crypto projects. And I think Broccoli Network is highly undervalued for that. This is a project that is sitting at less than a million dollars in market cap. So these are the projects you want to be accumulating because once they reach 10 million, 100 million, which they can easily do, by the way, in the bull run, you know, that's a lot of gains. So I find it that people are very impatient with crypto and they miss out on a lot of these opportunities. And I try my best to bring it to your radar. So Broccoli Network is definitely one you should pay attention to. I believe it has a lot of long-term potential. You can find it on Mexi or PancakeSwap or Git.io. So fairly decent amount of exchanges that you can get it on. And the next one is another one with that is jam-packed with utility and that's Lanceria. You know, I've been a freelancer for a very long time, so I understand a lot of pitfalls that comes with freelancing in the Web2 space. Lanceria is a Web3 solution that is far better than its Web2 alternative, allowing you to do your freelancing without any taxes and in a borderless manner. Very secure, very fast, very easy, and I think that's a great use case for a project like this. You know, with Upwork and Fiverr, they take this outrageous fees of 20%. So, with Lanceria, there are no fees, you get to earn all of what you work for, and I think that's a very good use case. And Lanceria is more than that, they are partnered with IBM, they are partnered with Chainlink, providing data and API solutions to many other freelance projects within the space. I think that's super bullish. In addition to that, they also have training and tutorials centers for people getting started with freelancing so you know the world is quickly moving online and a lot of people are finding opportunities to make money without going to to the workplace i think you know freelance is one of the, a major economy in that regards and i think it's far better on the blockchain with cryptocurrencies than in the web 2 space so i'm super bullish on lanceria i think it will do where i think it can easily reach you know just to its all-time high to 10 million dollars that's um, a 10x from this point i think this project is can go beyond you know its previous all-time i believe it can go much higher than that so yeah lanceria is definitely a project what's paying attention to and what's um, accumulating if you're interested in it it's got 77 percent in circulation good to see um, founded in 2021, another thing that is good to see, which means it's been here for a while, Lanceria is an AI-enabled, low-commission freelancing marketplace. The platform currently under development, the testnet just concluded and the mainnet is about to launch. This is super early on a project like this. Once the mainnet launches, there's going to be a lot of activity, more eyes on the project. So, you're getting in super early on a project like this. So, um, Lanceria is building a machine learning based tool to match every freelancer with the perfect gig. Built by former freelancers with ample blockchain and AI experience, the company aims to transform the freelance ecosystem with trust and transparency. So, I've made several videos on Lanceria. You can check it out. I think you'll find it very informative and very useful. The next project is another one that I believe, you know, is absolutely um, undervalued on a very nice deep price now, 19% down, and that's hustle. You know, there's a lot of crypto projects in this space, a lot of crypto projects that don't offer anything to people and they don't have good use cases, yet they reach hundreds of millions of dollars. This is a project that is less than $500,000 in market cap. Getting in, in this project at these prices is super early in my opinion. With Hustle, the problem they are solving is music. And I always say NFTs have a lot of use cases, not just um, pictures. One of the major use cases that I believe you can use NFTs for are for music. And with music NFTs, you are completely removing the barrier between a creator and his fan or his audience. And I think that's super bullish. I think that's something that is very important. Hustle Pro the Hustle platform provides a lot of benefits to musicians and their fans. It allows you to list your music, it allows you to support your favorite artists, and it also allows you to meet. How is that possible? They are also integrating the metaverse with it. And I think that's a very unique selling point with this project. You know, I've covered Audios. Audios has a market cap of over $3 million. 
This project is around 500k market cap. Imagine it gets to a hundred million dollars. That's over 200x from this point. Going to 3 million is absolutely mind blowing, close to a thousand x. But let's just say it reaches a hundred million. That's about 200x from this point. This project is something that you know has a real use case has value provides value to nfts provides value to musicians allowing them to connect with their audience and the metaverse aspect of it i think is super interesting attending concerts and you know being the first to listen to the music and interacting directly with your artists it's got celebrities using it already meaning it's active and i think that's something i like to see in a project so the hustle project is in the entertainment sphere project that i believe is worth paying attention to and accumulating on dips major dips like this and i think it has a lot of long-term potential you can find it on pancake swap uniswap or mix global good amount of exchanges for you to get started with this project so the next project is a gaming project that you know is not on quite a deep right now and to be honest i've been waiting for a long time for the Fina finance to dip so that i can send out an accumulation alert to people and so that i can get in early but just for you to note this is a project that is worth paying close attention to if it's on any major dip it's worth accumulating if you don't have any exposure to it right now it's also worth getting some exposure to the final finance is a team that listens and i love that about it they are implementing a cross-chain gaming aspect to it very soon meaning it's not just going to be on the bsc network as we have now they are also integrating with the polygon blockchain cross-chain gaming is a form of interoperability that i like to see in gaming projects and the fact that the final finance constantly listens to feedback and implements it makes me bullish on this project so this is a project that is sitting at just two million dollars in market cap a low cap gem in my opinion 2.3 million dollars i'm super bullish on definitely i've been following them since when they were 750k in market cap and making videos talking about it i think this project has a lot of long-term potential no more seed rounds no more private vestings all tokens out in circulation for the audience, 68% in circulation. I think that's a big deal. The Final Finance also has a free to play aspect, something they implemented after I gave them feedback. So, just for you to get an idea how well this team listens to user feedback. The Final Finance is a play to end game on the Binance Smart Chain that combines DeFi and NFT elements. You know, also moving soon to the Polygon Smart Chain. Big news coming out for this project. I think, you know, I've been waiting for it to go less than 2 million. I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon but if it does well you heard it here first this is a project worth accumulating and i think it's going to do very well you know it's got his anime stories anime aesthetics i don't know if you are going to be a big fan of that but just know that definite finance is a great project and while we're on gaming projects the next one on my list is fabot another project that i've been calling since it was 500k in market cap so that's over 3x to this point congrats to my patrons and a quick plug in for those of you who don't know i have a patron service where i do one-on-one -on -one consultations portfolio reviews coin reviews buy alerts sell alerts and you know many more services check out the links in the description if that's what you're interested in so fabulous is a great gaming project you know it takes a lot of positives in what i like to see in a gaming project cross-chain gaming variety hard-working devs good tokenomics you know fun gameplay addictive and i think fabulous has a lot of long-term potential because there are many gaming projects out there that aren't good and are doing much better than fabulous I like to see good projects succeed and that's why I cover them on this channel. Fabulous is one of the good gaming projects and I think it has a lot of potential. You can get it on quick swap or pancake swap. So the reason why I like Fabulous, like I said, they've got variety, they've got fun gameplay and a hard working dev. I think Fabulous has a lot of long term potential and I believe it's a project worth paying attention to and worth accumulating on major dips, especially when Bitcoin starts to misbehave like we're seeing it now. I really feel like decentralized science has a lot of potential and I covered it extensively in this live stream right here. If you don't want to miss any of that, check it out. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment down below on any other project or topic you'd like me to cover and I hope to see you next time. Stay safe and take care.